Hi, Andrew here. Continuing our series on defensive pistol ammunition gel testing, I want to test something a little different. Ventura loads a 115 grain total metal jacket with a hollow point in it. And this isn't intended for defense. It's not designed to expand. The hollow point that's in this bullet is just an artifact of the manufacturing process and it's not really a design component as far as expansion goes. But Ventura contacted me and asked me if I'd like to test it because they were a little curious to find out if it would expand and I'll be honest, I'm a little curious too. I know that it's not intended to, but it's entirely possible that it may actually expand. Um, for, the, for the record, this is a plated bullet, if that helps in your mental calculus in making your predictions. I don't know about you, but I like to try to make some mental predictions about what's going to happen before I watch a test. Let's get out to the range. We're going to shoot it out of my Glock Model 22 with a Lone Wolf 9mm conversion barrel. You shouldn't be all that surprised to discover that they didn't expand. Uh, most of them passed all the way through both blocks and were stopped by the soft armor that I put behind the blocks for this very purpose. There are a few more back here. There's one here. I think this is actually the shortest one. It went to about 30 and a half inches. And of course, Ventura didn't intend these to expand. They're not made for that purpose. They're made for match and plinking. But it was an interesting question. It was worth finding out. And it also tells us a little bit about how deeply 115 grain full metal jacket will penetrate roughly 30 inches or so. And that's not bad. Okay, well, I can't say I'm surprised. I really had no idea what was going to happen. I, I expected it probably wouldn't expand because it's not designed to, but I wouldn't have been shocked if it did. There was a lot of room left in the gel after the other testing, so I fired plenty of rounds to make sure <laughs> that I was going to get the same result. No, I'm not going to do a heavy clothing test. If it doesn't expand in bare gel, it's not going to expand in heavy clothing. No, I'm not going to do a short barrel test. If it doesn't expand out of a four and a half inch barrel, it's definitely not going to do it from a 3.1 inch barrel. Maybe, possibly from a carbine, I guess. <laughs> but I don't own a nine millimeter carbine and I can only rarely borrow one for testing. So for right now, no, it doesn't look like this bullet is going to expand. Um, but... It tells us a little bit about how full metal jacket bullets penetrate right about 30 inches, give or take. A couple of them came out the back of the block and were stopped by the soft armor behind that last block. And a couple of them stayed inside of the block. Honestly, 30 inches for a 9mm is <laughs> pretty decent. Uh, is this a good choice for self-defense? No, of course not. Um, there are lots and lots of other bullets that'll do a much, much better job depending on the kind of defense that you want, whether it's against big critters on the trail or two-legged critters in the city. Just about any other ammunition that's not a full metal jacket may be a better choice than this. But as always, it's not a Nerf dart. <laughs> Those are real holes in real meat. And of course, 
That's not what this ammunition was designed for. Like I said, it's really just match or plinking ammo and Ventura just wanted to see if it had the possibility of expanding. If you have any questions, if you disagree with how I did things, leave a comment below. As always, please like and share and subscribe. Engaging with YouTube videos helps YouTube know the sort of videos that you like to watch. And that helps YouTube recommend more videos like this to you. And it also helps us bring you more content like this. If you have the time, head on over to Ventura Munitions website, take a look at what they have in stock, come back over here and tell us what you'd like to see us test next. Have a great day.